Portfolio Day is a big uh, part of like the grade 12 experience at ESA. Uh, it's kind of the culmination of the work that all of us have been doing from uh, up from grade nine until now. Um, and it, it really gives us an opportunity to launch ourselves into our futures, either in the art world or in um, whatever we choose to go into in post-secondary. For lots of people, it's a way to start talking to the reps of art schools so they can get an easier and more kind of fast chance to talk to the schools that they're interested in. In terms of opportunities, I think talking to the reps, getting feedback about your work, even like learning about their schools and kind of figuring out what you really want to do is quite helpful. Yeah, talking to the reps gives you a sense of like what it's kind of like going to be in the art world, like criticism and like talking to other people about your work and being vulnerable. So it's sort of like a trial for going into the <laughs> yeah. art world, yeah? In previous years, we've had about 2,000 people come to the public viewing, which is typically two or three hours in, in the evening. We're basically in a school, and then we have to put up this full show complete with um, large installations. So we have to convert um, basically a school into a show and gallery. Having some of the best art schools in the world come to look at what they have to say and view them as adults and people who are just as important as they are. A lot of time when the reps come, they say how impressed they are by the way the students talk about their work. And that's because from the very beginning, they're challenged to be honest and to be vulnerable in their artwork and outside of it. Students at ESA work on a very large scale, so like the painting right behind me, um, quite large and it costs about $450 in materials. So when we think about that on the scale of Portfolio Day, um, we have over 80 students participating in Portfolio Day and each one of those students might be making over 20 works. Well we need printers, canvases, paints, staple guns. Chloroplast, because the chloroplast, because like every chloroplast thing, they're photos. So uh, every, all zip the ties. supplies, zip ties, yeah. just, to, just to set up portfolio day, it, it costs like a mind-boggling number. That's not even including like the art that we have to make to present a portfolio day. Like it's already a lot just to set it up and then plus, you know, paint costs a lot and canvases and then people doing sculptures. Um, so it really, really adds up. There's a lot of people that work with paint and other people that uh, sculpt or do photography, um, films, anything of the sort. So all the money that is made in Portfolio Day uh, goes towards um, helping students keep producing the art that they want to produce. People were doing big installations last year and now that people in this year know that's possible, there's a ton of people planning pretty huge things, um, which are going to be very exciting, but again, they cost money. Big um, things cost money and yeah. we work with big paintings, big sculptures, big installations, mm -hmm. so we need a lot of help. All the past portfolio days were so successful. Now that we've started doing this fundraiser, last year was amazing, um, mm -hmm. and it needed the support you guys gave us, and I think this year, there's 80 plus students this year, yeah. and without your help, it may not happen. Mm -hmm.